Hi, and welcome back to Taste Channel for Chillers, episode 173 today. Alright guys, hey, coming off the heels of our request episodes. Hope you guys really enjoyed that stuff. So hey, if you're uh, looking for a particular chili sauce, or you're curious to know how a particular sauce tastes, hey, just write in, and uh, I look over everything and all mail that comes in. So uh, yeah, that's what the request thing is all about. Hey, and if you're just interested in uh, finding out about different random sauces, hey, this is the show to watch. Check out some episodes of this. And uh, hey, we hope you enjoyed this one today because, wow, we are heading back down under where we haven't been since we did Taipan Venom a few shows ago. Yeah, it's a little while back. But today we're back again. Coming from Australia, yeah, with Outback Spirit. How about that? And this here is their Lemon Myrtle Coconut and Chili Sauce. Okay, so hey, how about that for something new and interesting? Lemon Myrtle Coconut Chili Sauce. All right, so it's here. Real Australian sauce. Uh, a little uh, notation here little handprint there. We'll see what that's about in a minute. It says, uh, in partnership with Aboriginal Enterprise. Okay, whatever that refers to, I'm not sure. Um, okay, uh, it says here, uh, a little writing, maybe this will give us some, uh, some, uh, insight into that. It says here, Robin's Food, Corporate Social Responsibility, Robin's Foods, I guess that's who's making Outback Spirit, uh, financially supports the development of indigenous enterprise in the native in the native food industry by a partnership with the Aboriginal owned supply company Indigenous Australian Food. Uh, all indigenous ingredients in our product are purchased exclusively through the Aboriginal owned Indigenous Australian Foods Company. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, contributions from the sale of Outback Spirit brand products and Outback Spirit Foundation that supports a sustainable indigenous business development in order to uh, deliver economic, social, cultural, health, and well-being outcomes for the indigenous people. Okay, so it seems to be uh, tied and uh, uh, Robin's Foods tied to support the uh, the. Uh, indigenous aboriginal company there so uh get they get their ingredients from that that's what i'm getting out of that story kind of cool kind of interesting right uh robin's food is out of uh victoria australia uh if you're interested in checking out uh anything by them that has to do with outback spirit uh you can go to www.outbackspirit.com.au a U. So, all right. It says there's some recipes readily available on that site for you if you're interested in getting the sauce, and cooking some food, I guess. So, anyway, um, yeah, let's get in with get involved with the ingredients here because uh, wow, looking pretty cool. Kind of anxious to try this again. Kind of interesting and uh, again, maybe harkening back to the fruit sauces. Hey, guys, I'm not doing this on purpose. Just kind of coming across this stuff, and again, here we have uh, coconut in this one, so uh, perhaps we'll be able to taste that later. So anyway, let me roll this ingredients off here. Uh, we have sugar, water, coconut, chili pepper, salt, modified cornstarch, garlic powder, and lemon myrtle, and also parsley in here. So hey, uh, the peppers on here at least on the label there, look to be cayenne peppers. So hey, out of Australia, we've had a lot, a lot of hot stuff coming out of there. Uh, kind of a Jalokia center of sauces there. We had uh, Devil's Delirium, and uh, yeah, we had, uh, what did we have, Lust Sauce, and, uh, and uh, the Wrath of God, and all kinds of crazy peppers going on down there. But uh, this one here, it seems like it may be focused on cayenne. So, uh, hey, nothing wrong with a little flavor, even if we don't get a lot of heat, but who knows? You know, we'll have to try it first. I want to shake this stuff up, guys. We'll get a whiff again. We might be able to get a really 
kind of unique aroma coming off of this with all those weird ingredients. All right, yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of uh, coming across this really spicy note, getting kind of like a sharp, tangy note coming off of that. I don't, again, I didn't see that there's any vinegar in this, but it kind of does have a little bit of that uh, kind of a kind of a tangy nose. Perhaps getting a little garlic in there, a little a little bit of an earthy nose happening. Perhaps a little bit of saltiness, but really kind of kind of a, an interesting aroma. Again, we have a lot of different stuff happening in this. Uh, lemon myrtle, I'm not quite sure what kind of aroma comes off of lemon myrtle. Uh, perhaps accounting for some of this uh, kind of really spicy nose going on. So, uh, again, not familiar with that spice, uh, but actually smells pretty good. Lots of stuff happening there. It smells like it might have a little tiny bit of fire going on, but uh, it mainly just just the spices. So hey, let's uh, give this a roll. We'll pour some out on the spoon. Uh, again, yeah, kind of looking uh, kind of medium body here. We have some chunking going on. Uh, it almost looks like there's black pepper in there. Um, and uh, kind of a little bit of a gelatinous look to it as well. Uh, kind of almost sort of looking like a sweet and sour sauce somehow. Kind of has that kind of brownish, yellow, orangish thing happening. So hey, lots of chunks and spices on there. So without further ado, we're gonna do lemon myrtle coconut chili sauce. So here we go. Well, guys, really, really chewy body. Um, oh man, a lot of stuff going on here. Um, okay, the tanginess I picked up in the nose, probably not a vinegar character, because I'm getting very little tanginess uh, coming from the flavor. Just a little underlying going on there. Uh, kind of getting a Wow, kind of a sugary sweet note happening in there. Um, I'm crunching down on what perhaps may be coconut, because if you ever take a piece of the coconut fruit, and put it in your mouth, it's kind of crunchy, kind of splits up and kind of goes in all different directions. I'm uh, having that same thing happening here. So perhaps we're getting some of that coconut uh, actual the fruit pulp that I'm crunching down on, um, not really, not really going crazy with the coconut flavor, though that could be part of the sweetness I'm tasting in there as well, because coconut, coconut milk can kind of have a little bit of that sweetness, though not really, really coming through clearly, so the coconut is not dominating, which is one thing that I was worried about with this sauce. Coconut has a tendency to kind of take over, sort of like bananas. You know, if you ever had a fruit smoothie, you put the banana into the fruit smoothie, and all you taste is the banana, and the other fruit come, becomes kind of irrelevant. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be the case with this. And uh, it is not the case, which is positive. So we got a sweet, kind of sweet, sugary, perhaps fruity note up front. Kind of, kind of getting some black pepper flavors going on in there as well. Um, kind of, uh, yeah, like a, it's a good fruity note, but there is some kind of tang happening. Still kind of hovering in there, perhaps a little bit of that lemon myrtle. I'm not sure if that has any kind of lemon tang to it. Again, I'm not really familiar with lemon myrtle at all. That would be something that I'd have to look up, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe picking up a little bit of garlic here, too, as well. Well, this also has parsley, which could also be giving a, a little bit of a, a chewy texture to the body. And uh, maybe a hint, guys, nothing crazy coming out, but I do have a hint of heat actually happening kind of on the back of the roof of the mouth there. 
and maybe a little bit on the back of the tongue happening. Let us know we had a hot sauce. Definitely some chilies going on in here. Though this sauce here, uh, really not focusing so much on blazing heat, but it's